Hello everyone, welcome back. Many of you asked me, how to find logo design ideas. It was really a hard question to answer, because I can't teach you creativity, but there is some methods that help you get creative and come up with great logo design concepts. So today, I am going to walk you through the process of designing a logo, but I will concentrate on the thinking behind the design part. So, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and mention in the comment section what is the most valuable thing that you find in this video. I will share the top 3 comment, in the next tutorial, and by the end of this video I will mention the top 3 of the previous one. Have a nice watching. In order to generate great logo design ideas, you have to put in the time into the thinking behind the design, it's a whole process. If you follow it, you will be in good position to come up with good ideas, that works as great solution for the client's problem. To start the thinking process, you have to collect every information needed of your client, and this can easily done by creating a creative brief. It's a simple document you send to your client, that ask thoughtful questions about the client and his business, in order to gather specific information about the project, and to define your client's expectations. This is my creative brief document, that I send to my clients, it include questions like, who are you? where the client can define the business, its activity, and its name etc. What is your target audience, what values you want to convey? Let's use a client as an example. After sending him the creative brief document, he responded with the information needed. The company name is Royal Veggies Transport. It's a transport company of vegetables, with controlled temperature. The client wanted something elegant and classy. At the same time the logo needs to reflect the veggies aspect. To achieve that, we will use the logo's main keywords to extract some unexpected ideas, this is what we call mind mapping. Mind mapping is the creation of a visual representation of the words related to the main topic, then finding other associations to these words, in order to generate creative logo ideas. Finally, I make separated lists, each main word with its associations. Then I take off the words that I find inconvenient to the project. Then I make some combinations of three words, one word from each list, so I can get some unexpected ideas for the logo. For example I will combine, vegetables and crest and wheels. Or carrot and crown and wings. Soul Base said, design is thinking made visual. So after all the thinking and the research process, it's time to transform that into a visual. So, these are the combinations of the words that I extracted from the mind mapping and the word associations. To achieve the right solution for your logo, you have to execute all the combinations, then you filter them and the stronger survive. I will only walk you through the execution of one combination, which is, carrot, crown, wings. Before I dive into the sketching phase, I make a search for some reference images, I try to look at some photos related to the project, and some logos of a similar subject, then I copy the ones that I think are helpful, then I make a mood board, to get inspiration from it.
This is the mood board that I've made, it will help a lot when drawing the shapes and picking the colors and so. Putting in mind all the information that I collected before, I will start by sketching. It doesn't require being precise when sketching, it's only about capturing the essence of the idea. In fact, anyone can draw, as I showed you before in the mood board I collected some images, I will use it as reference, if you don't know how to draw a carrot, look at a photo of a carrot, and try to do the same thing with simpler form. Now, I am sketching the different elements of the combination, and exploring different forms. After making some alternatives of the elements, I am trying to combine it and see what I can get. Okay, these are the sketches that I made, and because it is simple shapes, I will not draw on top of it, but I will use it as reference and design directly on white. I will start by the carrot shape. I'll make a circle. Then I hold out and drag it right to duplicate it, now I move this a bit to the left. And with the pen tool, I make a horizontal line. Now, I select everything, then with the shape builder tool, I click here to form the carrot shape. I select the new formed shape, then I hold shift and select everything, then I press delete. Ok, this is the carrot shape. Now I will make the crown. With the pen tool, make the half of the crown, like this. Then hold Alt and Shift and drag it to the right, then go to Object, Transform, then click on Reflect, select the Vertical Reflect option, then I press OK. Select the two parts of the crown, then go to the Pathfinder, and click on Unite. Now I make the crown smaller. And move it down a little. With the direct selection tool, I hold shift and select the two anchor points of the corners, then I drag the live widgets to make it a little bit rounded. Now, I make a horizontal rectangle, then I hold out and drag it down a little, then I press ctrl D to repeat the action. Now I select the two bottom rectangles, and make it shorter. Then I do the same for the last one. With the direct selection tool, I hold shift and select the bottom right corner of all the rectangles then I drag the live widgets to make it rounded. With the direct selection tool, Select the left parts, then drag it to make it a bit longer. Hold out and drag the carrot shape, and make it overlapped with the wing parts, like this. Select the carrot shape with the wing, then with the shape builder, hold out and drag over this parts to take it off.
select the wing, then hold Alt and drag it left, and go to Object, Transform, then click on Reflect and press OK. Make it balanced with the right wing. Now, I will make this details to give it the carrot look. With the pen tool, I make a straight line from right to left. Then I increase the size to 10 points, then I change the width profile to this, to make it sharp. I hold out and drag the line here, then I reflect it. Then I hold out and drag it down here. I hold shift and select the three lines, then I go to object, and click on expand appearance. Now I press ctrl G to group it, then I hold shift and select the carrot shape, then from the pathfinder click on minus front. Ok this is my first concept, now I will try to make the other one with more straight lines and sharp corners. Don't expect to find the perfect concept from the first try, it may happen, but you should always experiment and explore all the combinations possible, in order to get your desired design. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. So, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and as always I will mention the 3 best comments in the next video so make your comment count. Now, I will let you see the 3 best comment of the previous tutorial, and see you in another video.